Hi, I'm Karen. And I'm Karen, and we're here today to pitch for a £100,000 investment for 25% stake in our business. Ice, ice blading. blading. Learn to ice skate without the ice. Music, please. is a new concept of learning how to ice skate without the ice. We are the first in the UK to produce an inline skate that replicates an ice skating blade. Unlike any other skate on the market, ice blading has a progressive learn to skate system. We see ice blading as a big opportunity to create a new craze based on the phenomenal success of dancing on ice and also the popularity of the Christmas outdoor ice rinks. We've got three interlinked but complementary branches to our business. One, retail. Two, the fitness industry. And three, the education sector. For retail, we plan to sell our skate and our learn to skate system. For the fitness industry, we want to be the first aerobic fitness class that combines the skills of ice skating mixed with aerobics. As for the education sector, we're currently delivering ice blading in a number of schools right across London. We now have an opportunity to go nationwide as the National Ice Skating Association has endorsed our product as part of their National Learn to Ice Skate programme. We, we hope, hope we're, we're not, not skating, skating on thin ice, ice as we really need your investment to help manufacture our skate. Thank, Thank you for, for listening. listening. An eye-catching pitch from Karen O'Neill, Karen Coombs and their dancing troupe, who hope their new ice blading product will revolutionise ice skating across the country. In exchange for a 25% equity stake, they want a £100,000 cash injection. Theo Pafitis is first with the questions. Ladies, hello. 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 I don't know what to say. Good. Well, is that good or bad? Well, inline skating has been around for, well, since I was a boy. What's different between that and the normal on inline skating? And what has that got that replicates that? The angles, basically. It's your angles. An inline skate is in line and in a straight line. And right. you can't do any jumps or spins or any tricks with them. But with these skates, it's at the same angle as an ice skate. And it's got a toe stopper. An inline skate has another wheel in the front there. So you can't do anything else with an inline skate, apart from go forwards and backwards when you've seen people in the park. You don't see anyone do jumps or stuff. Have a look at one. Like that. Yeah. Um... Karen, I'm sorry, Karen. I, I don't know how you can say you can't jump. Why, why can't you jump with other skates? Yeah, they, they do. What you're jump. saying is they can't jump in the same way that they can jump in the nation. They're not right. ice they, can, they can jump off. Of, they can jump like this kind of jump, but you couldn't jump off the top of your toe to, to throw it across the, into the air because there's nothing to jump off of. Jump off the top of your toe to throw it in the air. Show me that. What, that. what does well, that you mean? You jump. You have to jump through heel through to toe, and you do it in that position. And or you jump if you go to jump. You'd have to jump on. Your toe, and you couldn't do that on it. No inlines you can do that on. It's a promising start for the duo. They're confident that theirs is the superior skate and have managed to charm the dragons. Now, Peter Jones wants to drill down into their finances. Girls, hi, I'm, hi. I'm Peter. Um, get down to some, I suppose. Key questions. What's the manufacturing cost? What have you got that down to now? To make, if we buy, say, 10,000 skates, is £25, and that's the whole unit. We're selling them um, for £125. And how many are you going to sell year one? 5,000. OK, so year one, you're going to make half a million pounds? Well, 
we no, we've been um, in talks with a distributor, which is actually the, the major distributor in, in the whole of the UK, um, and they're very, very interested in, in our product. So we have a letter here as well. We we hope in year in year two we make a profit of. Um, just, can I stay on year one? Okay. Five thousand units. Mm. What profit are you going to make on each skate? Um, us twenty five pounds. You're going to make twenty five pounds for every unit. Yep. Profit. Yes. The initial glitz and glamour is forgotten as business matters take over. Duncan Bannatyne now wants to interrogate the duo on the size of their market. How many people each year want to learn to ice skate in Great Britain? Well, there's 45,000 on the Learn to Ice Skate programme at the moment. So would you say 45,000 people in Great Britain want to learn to ice skate? Well, there's probably more, but there's only give 64 ice rinks in the country. Can you give us a number? Um, well, Somerset House this Christmas attracted over 200,000. I can't give you a number, no. So you have no idea how many people there are out there who want to ice skate who cannot access an ice rink? You have no idea? No, not that can't access an ice rink. Um, I, I just can't understand this, actually. And I can't see this being a big seller. OK. okay. So, for that reason... Okay, thank you. Thank you. Duncan Bannatyne's assessment of their business's potential comes as a blow to Karen and Karen. Will Deborah Meaden see more promise? Um, hello. Hello, I'm Deborah. Deborah. Can you tell me about this scheme that you've got going on with schools? Well, we're, we're teaching them the ice blading syllabus. It's a progressive learn to so, ice skate So you program. go into a school? Yes. Yeah. And then you invite pupils free of charge? No, some schools, we've got private schools, are paying up to £120 per session. So at the moment, you're all, you are retailing, you're not retailing the goods, but no. you are retailing your time yes, and you are running yes. these sessions. Yes, we are. So tell me about that model. That might help me understand yes. how much cash you're actually generating. OK. Well, we've got 25 sessions a week at the moment in schools. We charge from average price of £70 to £120. So how much cash have you generated? So far, in, fi in um, nearly six months, we've generated uh, £20,500. This doesn't really sound like a very attractive business proposition because one of the key issues for me is I'm not sure really there's a big enough market for this. Well, there's quite a lot of ice rings that are under repair at the moment. There's about four that's actually going down. For doesn't for mean anything to me. No, but they want the show to go on. OK, they actually let want me ask you a question. How many did you sell space? last month? Like I said, we're only in business six How months. How many did you sell last month? I have another, I have another letter. How many did you sell last I have, month? I haven't sold any to date, but we okay. have letters from retailers who OK, now I appreciate it. So do you see what I'm saying? Sold so when, no, when somebody sells, tells me they've sold nothing, Mm -hmm. and they make up yes. numbers of 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, it just sounds ridiculous. There's no substance there. Okay. So, regrettably, I'm out. Thank you. Another loss, and the two Karen's hopes of securing £100,000 look like they're slipping away. Karen, I'm going to tell you where I am. I'm, this is ridiculous and painful. I think you've been very naive um, to think that you've got a business that's anything like valued at £300,000. You have a business that's valued at zero, and I'd even question that. Um, it's nothing but a little idea in your head. Um, I can't invest in ideas in heads, and that's why I'm out. OK, thank, thank you. you. And Karen, Karen, I will finish what I started. It was... I, I don't... You have given me no reason. You have just failed to convince me that there's a business model in here, so I'm afraid I'm out. OK, thank you. Thank you. The duo's small-scale business plans have failed to strike a chord with four of the multimillionaire investors. Only Theo Pafitis is left. Will he spot an opportunity where his rivals have not? I'm interested in something you said uh, during your pitch. Yeah. I just want you to clarify this, because it's quite sure. important. You said it had been approved. Yes. Yes. We can't believe it. By we are so. But the National Ice Skating Association. And it can be used as a training aid for ice skating. Yes. yes it's an off ice training aid. And fundamental skating. You know, we, you can learn to skate anywhere in the park, so at home. It works really well in leisure centres who have got 
um, ice rinks because ice hockey takes up a lot of time um, and it works really well if, as long as you've got space it works really well in leisure centres who've got a bit of space and uh, the Sport England survey for children ice skating came out as the top three sports that they want to do so any, is there any reason why you shouldn't just buy yours and forget buying inline skates? Yeah, because you can do more, you can do more on ours than you can do on an inline skate. People go around the park yeah. with their inline skates and all their helmets and everything and then they lose interest because they, it doesn't go anywhere. OK, so before we go any further, you did say you had a letter from uh, a distributor? Yes. And a letter from the National Ice Skating Association? Yes. Have you got those with you? Yes. Can I have them? Yes, you can. Thank you. And that could pleasure beach as well. Theo Pafitis is impressed that the duo's multi purpose blades are uniquely placed to exploit the growing market for the sport. We must say, Theo, we've done all of this in four weeks. Amazing. Is he about to offer them the financial lifeline they badly need? OK. Right, ladies, I'm going to make you an offer mm -hmm. for the full £100,000. Mm -hmm. And I won't be wanting 25% of the business. Mm -hmm. Okay? I'm going to be wanting 45% of the business because I don't believe the business is worth anything near that level at the moment. I could be burning my money just like that. And you're going to need a lot of help to get this to market. Yes. Okay. Are we in? Fantastic. Great. We're in. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Karen and Karen have done it. They walk away with the cash they needed and an experienced dragon on board. Well. Wow. What, well. <laughs> what happened? I haven't got a clue. Oh, my goodness. I just don't think we... Got it across, to be honest, mm. at the beginning, did mm. we at all? No. But you know what? We got the dragon we went, we set yeah. out to get. That's who we wanted, yeah. wasn't it? That's Definitely for retail. We are so yes. pleased. We were like, yes. I mean, what was in those letters? Because you know, he read the letters and obviously mm. was happy to go with it. There were real definite um, confirmation on how good um, the National Ice Skating Association think our product is. Very well done. Thank and you very so good much. Luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.